welcome learners to this session of be honors english part 1 paper 1 class the topic today is the dramatist the post shakespearean dramatists john webster and thomas middleton now john webster was born in the year 1850 and died in 1625 there is no written record found of his parentage and early life he began writing for the stage and collaborated with marston in the drama the malcontent and with decker for philip henslow webster's esteem as a dramatist rests on his works the first play is the white devil written in the year 1612 the duchess of malfi 1614 the devil's law case 1623 appears in virginia 1654 of these the first two are very important and the duchess of malfi has been his only play to be presented on the modern stage by samuel phelps in 1851 and mr william poyle who has done much for the elizabethan drama in 1892 the other two plays are considered poor and negligible so we'll be focusing on the two plays that is the white devil and the duchess of malfi the white devil is considered a masterpiece in passionate vigor webster may not be superior to beaumont and fletcher but for the perfect imaginative beauty and pathos he is second to none but shakespeare Both the plays present a study in revenge, a subject very close to the heart of the Elizabethan dramatist. With Webster as well as with Turner, revenge is like a fever of the blood, than the impulse for justice. And in the play, the Duchess of Malfi, our sympathies are on the side of the unfortunate victim. In Shakespeare's hands, there is a high note of duty. <coughs> Sorry. where we tend to sympathize with the avenger and here lies the difference between the two webster's strength lies in his insight into character and his sensitive poetic imagination now we come to thomas middleton thomas middleton was a man of gentle birth and good education he was born in london in about 1570 He began writing in the year 1599. He collaborated with William Rowley, Webster, Munday, and Drayton in Caesar's Fall. Middleton held the post of city chronologer and was in great demand as a composer of speeches for several special public occasions. His first play was The Mayor of Queen Barrow. in the year 1596 followed by a fair quarrel 1617 a mad world my master 1608 the roaring girl 1611 the old law the changeling 1623 now he and webster stand together as dramatists of profuse and high imaginative power he has a rich comic vein which is way beyond the hold of webster Middleton is an admirable painter of manners and active forerunner of the restoration comedies with a lively humor expertise in conducting an intrigue an agreeable knack of easy dialogue devoid of any romantic flavors he amuses his spectators without troubling much about plot and characterization in spite of the technical and intellectual inequalities he possesses astonishing powers of tragic force and ironic portraiture providing the necessary life and ease to his style even though it may be lacking in dignity and grace that's all for today's class thank you